Cassius. Report. Three days ago, we put Jesus to death. We laid him in this tomb, and it was sealed with a large boulder and placed under guard by a unit of my best soldiers. Now this report says that the tomb is empty? The guards fell asleep and the disciples stole his body? <laughs> this is preposterous. Roman soldiers do not fall asleep on duty. If a Roman soldier is found sleeping on duty, the punishment is death. He is stripped naked and burned to death over a fire started with his very own clothes. I know my soldiers. They would never have fallen asleep. A Roman soldier is an elite fighting unit. He is protected with the finest armor, a breastplate, arm guards, leg guards, a shield, and helmet. Often feathers are placed on the helmet. This makes the soldier look taller and actually creates a terrifying image to the enemy. In one hand, he carries a large shield. In the other hand will often carry a long, eight-foot-long spike known as the famous Roman pike. It's an effective weapon to jab and impale enemies. It can also be hurled at the enemy from a distance. The soldier would also carry a short sword for close quarters combat. A Roman guard unit is one of the greatest offensive and defensive fighting machines ever conceived in history. The guard unit consists of 16 soldiers. Four soldiers would be placed at the head of the tomb. The others would guard the front and the two remaining sides. Each soldier is trained to defend a four foot by four foot patch of ground. When using this formation, the Roman guard unit should be capable of holding off an entire battalion. At nighttime, the guards would take shifts. Four guards would guard the head of the tomb, with the remaining 12 sleeping in a semicircle around the tomb with their heads facing inward. For someone to steal the body, they would have to step over and on the heads of the other soldiers to get to the tomb. Lastly, they would have to roll the stone away, and it would take more than a dozen men to move that stone. So am I to believe that the guards fell asleep and the disciples managed to roll that stone away without waking them? I think not. Dismissed. So what really happened? If the soldiers supposedly fell asleep, why were they not executed? Instead, the whole incident was reported to the Jewish officials. Governor Pilate says that he made an agreement with the Jews to spare the lives of the Roman soldiers. This story does not add up. Since when did the Jews care anything about the lives of the Roman soldiers? They hate us. I know that they are trying to hide something huge. This story makes no sense. The soldiers did not fall asleep, and they never would have abandoned their post against any human threat. Only one conclusion remains. They saw something. They saw something so terrifying that they abandoned their post. And whatever it was, the Jewish leaders were willing to cover it up at all costs. There is only one thing that this could be the very thing that the Jewish officials were afraid of the most. I can no longer deny the possibility that Jesus may have indeed risen from the dead. And if so, surely he is the Son of God.